Bonjour, je suis Shaba et bienvenue pour cette leçon. Today we are looking into the verb to be in French, le verbe être. The verb to be, le verbe être, is one of the two verbs that are not included in one of the three groups of French verbs. The other one is avoir, to have. So one of the main use of the verb to be is to describe a state of being whether for people or things. Let's see a few examples. I'm French. Je suis française. You are tall. Tu es grand. He is happy. Il est content. She is happy. Elle est contente. We are friends. On est amis. We are strong. Nous sommes forts. Talking about a lady. You are lovely. Vous êtes charmante. Talking about flowers. Uh, they are beautiful. Les fleurs, elles sont magnifiques. Les fleurs, elles sont magnifiques. Another main use of the verb être is to help other verbs to be conjugated at the composed tense. Those verbs are either reflexive verbs or verbs that describe a movement or verbs that are a change of state. For the reflexive verb, we can have to meet with someone at the same time and the same place, which is in French, se rencontrer. So we will say, we met in front of the church. We met in front of the church. Nous nous sommes rencontrés devant l'église. The idea of movement is like to go or to go up, to come, to arrive, to leave. So, an example, in the composed tense, I arrived this morning at 10. Je suis arrivé ce matin à 10 heures. Je suis arrivé ce matin à 10 heures. Verb, a verb that is, has a change of state is like to be born. To be born. I can say I was born in France. Je suis né en France. We use the verb être. Je suis né en France. A big use of the verb être as well in French is for the impersonal expressions like c'est, which is this is, that is. Uh, if you want to say it's difficult to do, we say c'est difficile à faire. We use il est also in the same way. For example, it's possible that it's going to rain tomorrow. Il est possible qu'il pleuve demain. Il est possible qu'il pleuve demain. Expressions like that's it, it's done. You can say ça y est, which is three verbs. Ça y est, ça y est. We say ça y est, which is in fact ça y est, who is the verb être. That's it, that's right, can be c'est ça, c'est ça, that's it, that's right, c'est ça, c'est correct, c'est ça. To ask any kind of question, we can start with est-ce que, for example, do you have a pen? Est-ce que tu as un stylo? Est-ce que tu as un stylo? I give you one last one. Uh, which is the expression to say right with question mark and le meaning that I'm correct, isn't it? It's n'est-ce pas? N'est-ce pas? In a sentence, we can say, um, we have a meeting at two o'clock, isn't it? Nous avons rendez-vous à deux heures, n'est-ce pas? Nous avons rendez-vous à deux heures, n'est-ce pas? So as you can see, there are many, many, many use of the verb to be, so you really need to know it by heart. And it has a lot of possibilities. Once you know it, you can make lots of sentences. I hope this was he helpful for you. 
I see you in the next video. Au revoir. À bientôt.